son. Son. One day, when you're on the battlefield, you're going to feel something. Something in your stomach. That's fear, my son. Fear. Never fear, fear my son. son. Never, Never be afraid. afraid.
people of Rome. People of Rome. Romans, citizens. Once again, we've managed to bring back security to our Roman provinces. Many, many thought that Attila could never be defeated. In fact, some even thought that this victory could never happen. That Rome could never ever have another victory. But in Gaul, in Gaul we've proven that wrong. When at the Battle of Chalons, when we defeated the Huns, the Huns ran from us. Once again, Rome has proven that even Attila, the so-called wrath of God, cannot stand up to the Roman legions. Our Roman legions!
politician general. Hmm. <laughs> yes. The mongoose has killed the snake. Now what do we do about the mongoose? Nothing. Now, we wait. Oh, all hail Flag is Aegis, conqueror of the hunt! So, my young friend, my young Livius, how does it feel? My lord, I, I don't understand. Oh, you know, such fame at such young age. Well, my lord, I, I can say and I'm honored. I can guarantee that I can protect. You can depend, you can dispense with the amenities. I'm still a soldier, I'm not a politician, you understand? Yes, my lord. You know, it's funny how faith works. Your father was Attila's aide, and now that we have defeated Attila, you are my Don't worry about it. It's all politics. I'm one of them too. The barbarians. I was born of the Scythian tribe. The Scythians? The same Scythians that were fighting alongside Attila? Yeah, that's right. The ones we've defeated. Just as Visigoths were fighting alongside us. Yes, my friend, that's the Roman way. It is us Romans against them, the enemy. Simple as that. No more, no less. Look at him, like this. Cheering at us. Like they'll live forever. <laughs> We've defeated Attila, but there's millions of them just like them waiting. Gates of Rome, waiting to crush us. Ostrogoths, Visigoths, Langobards, all the dudes, Fangs, Salons, Vandals. Everybody. Yeah. I just can't help being weary of all this new German Union with Rome. Well, my lord, with all due respect, we just defeated the greatest enemy Rome has ever known. You should at least be thankful for that. Yes, I know, Libius. It's just uh, I can't help being skeptical. You know? Now that we've defeated Attila and Attila is out of the picture, it's only a matter of time that the Germans unite against us. Yes, my friend, that's the truth of it. Yeah. Uh, we've let the Visigoths settle in Italy under the condition that they fight for Rome. Hell, yeah, we've even let the Saxons settle. Same Saxons that have been sacking Britannia, and even the better paradox is that the Britons are asking me to help them in the campaign against the Saxons, and now Saxons are fighting with us. Oh, the politics. Yes. It has been a long German dream for 400 years to sack Rome. Why would they succumb to us now? Now, now the this. Germans know we're weak. They know our empire is hanging on threads. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. All of them. Just waiting for the right time to crush us. Like sharks waiting for the leftovers. The 
civilization that's crumbling. Look at Amubius, hailing us like we're gods. <laughs> but only six months ago, the Senate wouldn't even approve of this campaign. And yeah, look at him now. can one say? Victory is glorious. Yeah, I can say one thing. Thank God I'm not a politician. Yeah, my friend. Yeah. The only reason I'm still alive because I'm neither warm nor cold, so both God and devil spit me out. And the truth is, Vivius, I'm tired. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this whole thing. I'm tired of war, of politics, of it all. Libius. Yes, my lord. I don't know how long I still have. And my son, my son is still very young. You understand? Yes, my lord. No, I... No, I trust you. You're a good man. Not many I can say this about. You... You're a good man. I must remember that. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Okay, enough about politics. There's plenty of food. Wine and women to go around for everybody. We can always die tomorrow. Tribune! Yes, my lord. The men haven't had a company of a woman in months. The streets of Rome are filled with beautiful women. I do not wish to hear of any inadequate behavior by my centurions. Is that understood? Yes, my lord. Good. Okay, Libius, let's go. You know, I might be old, but I still got it where it counts. Yes, my lord. Congratulate you, Senator Editus. It seems that your idea to unite the Visigoths and the Romans in Gaul actually worked in our favor after all. And Senator Magnus, I understand when I was gone and freeing the Empire from the Huns, there have been some new interesting developments in the Eastern Empire. A certain council in Bethany, a continuation of Mycenae. Yes, uh, our a, a Greek patrician, Consul Anatolius, has been participating in some various preparations for a new council at Chelsea. Uh, if we may continue this conversation another time, Senator Avitus, Senator Magnus, Rome is calling me. Hmm. Oh, 
Chili. Let's have a look at the Chili. Now we wait. Aren't you on duty, soldier? Aren't you on duty? Yes, my lord. <laughs> my apologies, my lord. Felicia. Flavius. Where are you from, soldier? Dalmatia, my lord. Dalmatia. Yes, my lord.
Oh, Dario. Flavius. The fire of Namibia. The Lion of Scythia. How are you, my friend? Huh? I'm good. I'm good, my lord. I haven't seen you since the battle. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Just like you. <laughs> uh, what about your brother? How, how is Septimo? He's good. He's alive. He's alive. Good, good. good. Where is he? After Shalons, the same back to the Britannia legions. <laughs> As he knows the terrain there well. What a lion, huh? Well, my friend, good. I'm glad, I'm glad. Look at your love. It's good. Well, as you can see, what's going on around here... <laughs> yes, I can tell you this, my friend. Uh, take your pick. Tribune. I guess that's that for adequate behavior of my centurions, huh? <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's okay. Ethius! Yes, my lord. Help me out with this. Yes, my lord. Thank you. It is Scythus, right? Yes, my lord. Well, tell me, Heathius, uh, how are the Centurions? The Centurions? Yeah. Oh, the Centurions, sir. Yeah. Every man is in his place. Every, everyone is fine. Everyone is in no, their no, place. No, 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 no. How, how, how are the centurions? How, how are the men? How's everything? Uh, everyone is good, my lord. Every, everything is good. 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 How are you? Me, my lord? Yeah, how are you? Me? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. The men are good, my lord. Everything is good. Good, good. Good. You know, eat this. I don't get to speak to the centurions that much anymore, you know? I don't talk to the men anymore. I shouldn't, you know, about uh, I need to talk to the men more often, you know. Oh, it's good talking to you. We should talk some more. Of course, I agree. We should do more often. I agree, my
Attila. They more so, huh? I guess we're not immortal now. Son, come over here. Hey, this. Son. What's your name, Tribune? Anthony, my lord. Anthony? Anthony? How old are you? 19 or 18, my lord. You're not sure? I was an orphan, my lord. Anthony. Uh, take her. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony. You heard me. It's okay. I know, I know. My lord? I know, I know. Take her. You, you deserve it. After what we've been through, <laughs> you deserve it more than anybody. Take me, Anthony. Let's go. Uh, Hi. My lord? Oh, uh, that's good. No problem. Uh, <laughs> tell her. Tell her about the hunts and how beautiful they smell. <laughs> Have you ever seen a hunt from up close? No, I haven't. The smell will knock you out. <laughs> Sword, don't you? Huh? Mm -hmm. no, that's not funny, actually. <laughs> no, not yet. Nothing worries about killing. I've killed many men, sir. Many men. I've lost even more. Brave men, young men. Some haven't even had a woman yet. They've tasted steel. It's nothing glorious about it, son. Nothing at all. Yeah, but then again, what do you know about this? You're just a baby. I'm telling you all this stuff, what do you know? I'm a big boy. Are you a big boy? Mm -hmm. That's it. You're a big boy. Look 
to fathom, right? Look at me. Look around you. Okay. One way or the other, it's going to be okay. You understand? Now, look around you, son. Look around. This is wrong. This is what your father fought for. I want you to know this. It existed for over a thousand years because of people like your father, engineers, people like me and you. There's nothing glorious about it, son. Don't, don't believe what they tell you about ideologies. Roman Caesars have come and gone, senators, politicians. But the Roman legions, that's the backbone that makes it last for so long. Remember that, son. It's based on Blood and blades, and putting fear in those we conquer. I've lost many men. I've killed many men. Many men, son. This is Rome. This is this is the mighty Rome that your father fought for. Okay? Blades and blood, my son. Just for the power, men's hunger for power, my son. There's nothing glorious about it. Do you understand me? Okay. We made it possible for it to be the way it is. The fire in our heart that burns forever. Do you understand? That's what makes us men. Okay? Son, I want you to remember something. I know you're too young to understand, but one day you'll understand. One day. One day when when I'm no longer around and you're defending Rome and you're on the battlefield waiting for the enemy to charge you're gonna feel something in your stomach that's fear son fear never give in to fear Never be afraid, son. You understand? Remember the fire. Right here, in the heart. Right here. The fire that burns forever. Without heart, we're nothing. Never be afraid. In life or death, it's always gonna be okay. Remember. Can every great general like you? That I promise you, son. One day you'll be the greatest general Rome has ever seen. I want to be the best general. I want to be just like you, father. Future commander of all the Roman armies, my son.
It has been known and speculated for some time now about these potential developments in Rome. The situation is delicate, my friends, I know. But we must not jump to any quick conclusion. One thing is certain. The Senate cannot submit to any mindless speculations. We must negotiate a solution as the Senate always has. Therefore, the Senate cannot succumb to any simplistic solutions. My Caesar. My Caesar. Honorable Senators of Rome. General Aetius. Yes, my Caesar. What news do you bring us? Odoacer and his army of Ostrogoths have sacked the city of Ravenna, and they're on their way here. I'm afraid the omens are bad, my Caesar. Omens? And what omens would that be, General Aetius? Honorable Romans, citizens, senators of Rome, do you hear what our honorable Patriot Majorian would tell us? We're doomed! As commander of all the Roman armies, I don't feel adequately appropriate reporting to you, honorable senator. Oh, but this is the Roman Senate the will of the people of Rome. My Caesar, we should start to evacuate the city. Rome has existed for over 1,000 years, young Aetius. For all those centuries, the Senate of Rome has been the heart of Rome. Rome cannot fall. Evacuate? You think you can predict the omens of Rome? Change the will of Rome? You're just the general. We are the Senate. Senatus, patres et conscripti, the center, the heart, the fathers of Rome. You would oppose the will of the Roman Senate, the heart of Rome? Fathers of Rome, heart, you? Look around you. Can't you see what's happening? You want to talk about the heart? You want to talk about the heart of Rome? You must first have a heart. We have our Caesar. Rome has existed for over 1,000 years. It is the center of the world. Rome will not fall. And as long as we have our Caesar, we have our heart. 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 Like my father. Flavius Aetius. Rome will fall. It's just a matter of time. Fall! How dare you! Yes! Fall! Or do you want me to lie? Like you. And tell you what? How the gates of Rome are safe? How there is no danger? No barbarians waiting to come in and crush us. My father spoke of people like you. Selling Rome for personal gain. Piece by piece until there is nothing left to sell. A 
but my father was the better man. He was beyond that bickering and greed that corrupts man. That's why he had to go. That's why he had to be killed. That's why he had to go. Isn't it? Isn't it? How could you have a row with a man like Flavius Aetius in your way? It's unnatural to your kind. All that Rome is worth to you is the value of denarii you've been selling it for all these years. I've just come from the gates of Rome. I've seen the barbarians. I've smelled them. Thousands of them ready to come in and attack at any time. Wake up! Our Rome is falling! Aetius. Yes, my Caesar. Dear Aetius, Patrius Majorian, you, of all the warriors of Rome, the most Roman of them all. I remember, I remember you when I was a little boy, and out of all the defenders of Rome, I always looked up to you the most. The true defender of Rome. My Caesar. We can still get you to safety. We must leave now. There are carriages outside ready to take you as we speak. But we must leave. There's no more time. The south of Rome is still defended by the legions. We can take you as far as Naples tonight. From where the galleys will take you to the island of Capri. There you would be safe for the moment. And then, via Sicily, we can transport you all the way to Constantinople in the east. Aetius. Yes, my Caesar. So is my will, and the will of the people. Go on now, my friend. Defend our Rome. Give it your best. Strength and honor.
Oh 